I'm really excited to share with you today and do an unboxing of a brand new Medine ceramic palette with a cover, mind you. And as an artist, when we paint, there are so many different types of palettes to choose from, from round to square to big to small to little teeny tinies, shallow wells, deep wells, square wells, angled wells, ceramic, plastic, metal. I mean, it is endless. But for those of us that use water medium, we typically want to stick to ceramic. If you are new to this concept of ceramic palettes for water mediums, especially watercolor, it's because metal and plastic create separation between the water and the watercolor. But with ceramic palettes, it doesn't happen as much. The watercolor with the water or the mixing of two colors often stay together longer than if it was in a ceramic. It stays that way longer in a ceramic than it does in a plastic or metal palette. So today, I am going to unbox this new Medine palette. Let's go ahead and move these out of the way. And all of these are Medine palettes and I'm going to compare them here in a minute. Okay, so I picked this up off of Amazon. I always, not always, but often go look to see what kind of new palettes come out on Amazon as well as on Etsy. Sometimes you can find some really good one-of-a-kind original palettes on Etsy. So let's go ahead and open this. It is a covered porcelain palette. You're looking at a 13 by 5 by 10 by 8 by 126 and 3.7 pounds. So it's a fairly heavy palette, not unreasonable. Okay. So looks like we can open it from this side here. I always love their packaging. I like how they package their products. Let me zoom out a bit. The outside packaging and then the inside packaging is always done really nicely. This is a nice cover. You rarely get covers with palettes, and, and if you do, they're often cheap plastic. This is a really, really nice cover. Let's put that to the side. And this is a really solid palette. Not terribly heavy. I have another one by Medine that I'll share with you that has almost the same amount of welds. It's a square, it's one of the biggest palettes that I own. It's beautiful, but it's eight pounds of heavy and it takes up a lot of space. So this is great. It's also comparable, as I try to set it down without making too much noise, it is comparable to this one. So this is often my go-to palette, but I, often need more wells. So I'll use this palette and then while I'm painting, I'll end up adding one or two round palettes. As you can see, these all go together. So the idea here for me was to be able to use one palette when I'm doing a piece of artwork. And this may actually be the palette that's going to allow me to do that. Here are the things that I really like about this so far. Number one, there's smaller wells and there's bigger wells. So there's different sizes. Often you don't see that in palettes. They're always the same size. And if you're a painter, you know that sometimes you don't need a lot of a color. And sometimes you know you need a very large sum of a color depending on what you're using it for. Here, I'll give you a prime example. I'm working on this piece of artwork currently, 
And for me, the yellow, I didn't need very much. So you can see that there's a yellow here. This just moved over here on accident. I don't, I'm not sure how that happened, but it was really only needed in one well. But <laughs> you can see the dress took over, uh, took this over, took two of these over, and finally I ended up moving it over to this because I needed a much bigger vessel for the amount of watercolor I was going to be using on this dress. So this is why this worked out well. So it is true that having various size wells to a palette is extremely helpful. The other thing I like about this is that it's really not that heavy. It's doing a similar job to this with a lot more wells. It's not much heavier than this. I'm not sure about the weight of this one. Let me lift it versus the weight of this one. They're very comparable. But the one that has almost the exact same number of wells, so much clinkety clankety clank, is this one. And I wrote the information on this. This has 32. This is a 12.5 by 12.5. And it's eight pounds. So I was having a hard time because I, I didn't really want to take this out. This was so heavy. It takes up a large space. And I found that this one is being, what, three pounds. What was the exact poundage here? It was 3.75 right there. So really, it's four pounds. So it's half. This is half the weight of this palette with the same amount of wells and actually pretty comparable mixing space. So this one's amazing, but I don't take it out. I mean, you can just, it's so heavy and it's beautiful and I love it and I've definitely used it, but it's not the type of palette I'm gonna use every time I do a big piece of artwork because of how heavy it is. So this has been the answer to my prayers and I love it that it's brand new and that it just came out and that you guys are getting the first look at this with me. And I can't wait to use it today. Cover fits really nicely. It's got tiny little areas to take your fingers and pull it out. So the other Medine palettes that I have are this one trying not to make so much noise. I also have this one. Obviously we have that really dirty one that I was just using. So I have this one. And then I have that one. So out of all of them, I think this one is pretty special. Let's go ahead and add some paint to these wells using Daniel Smith phalo blue turquoise the other thing that i noticed which is quite interesting is uh two things is on this other palette over here you can see that the, it's separated completely in totality this one is separated but has a space and what's interesting is that you see this well here it goes down and it feeds itself from the mixing area so if you are somebody who's painted and you've mixed a color that you absolutely love, but you need it to go into a well because you want to mix something else, you can push it down or grab this side and you can find a way to get it down there. So this is pretty unique. You wanted to make it more condensed or put it together because of course, when you're mixing, like with this, I have all this color here and it's no problem to use it from here, but perhaps I may wanna save it for tomorrow. This is a perfect color. And if it dries like this, it's different than if it dries in a well, or maybe it won't even dry at all because you'll put the cover over it and then you won't have to reactivate it. You know, with watercolor, reactivation of paint isn't a problem typically. But I do feel that when a paint stays wet and you don't have to reactivate it from it being dry, I do feel that the color and vibrancy 
is better than when you have to reactivate paint. So let's go ahead and add some paint, add some water to this paint. And I'm making a mess here. Let me grab that. So that's a pretty good size well. Oops. And unlike this other one here, which is flat, these are at an angle and have an interesting lip here on the side. So I'm gonna put that up closely here. So you can see that it's angular rather than this where it's flat across. So here's that well size. The brush I'm using is a 12. So you can see the size compared to the well. So I definitely think that this is an amazing product. I just love it. And it's going to probably become my main painting palette. Let me move this over here. The one thing about porcelain palettes, if you haven't figured it out yet, is that they are loud when you move them around. There's no way to, to not make a bunch of sound. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll make sure that I link this palette as well as the big, huge square palette, as well as the round palette, the other rectangle palette that I have, well, both round palettes. I'll basically link all the Medine palettes that I have down in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.